we are going to continue our Gombe class um, of painting this uh, gardenia, gardenia, gardenia flowers. We did the, the tracing um, of the templates, you might say. I did use a, a new uh, tool, Macron brush instead of the traditional Gombe liner, like this one is a seven wolf. Uh, seven wolf and the three sheep. And it's a, it's, or you can use Gombe liner, whatever, to, to do this. I added a, a butterfly to the, <coughs> excuse me, to the original design of this, uh, this painting, um, this master copy from this uh, beautiful book, the ch uh, floral chain book, a textbook. Um, so we're going to do the coloring, shading and the coloring. According to the instructions, for those of you who read the Chinese, the problem that I always have to ask is, uh, you can use Google Translate. I do, yeah. So this is a vertical, I don't know if Google it is works. smart. It works. Really? Yes, yes, it works. Oh, I didn't know that. That's a yeah. very important information for everybody. If you don't read the Chinese here, you can use Google, Google. Translate. You take a picture, it scans yeah. it, and it translates. Oh, I, I, yeah, I will definitely need to, uh, try that later. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> according to the instruction, to paint the flowers, we start from the white. Uh, just a flat wash, then after it dries with the uh, green, uh, we call it grass green, transparent green, which is a mixture of uh, indigo and yellow, um, to do the, the uh, shading. You can add a little amber to it. So that's why we got uh, <coughs> Let me drink a little water. This is for the flower. Any questions about this procedure? You can, you can see it. Right? Yeah. The other um, cards. This little bud, uh, it has a green on the um, on the upper part of the spiral section, it, you know, like uh, the, the, the butt yeah, has a green highlight, you could call it. And uh, uh, this leaf has a front side and back side, which is uh, very classical. And if you look closely, you'll see the water line, uh, watermark, if you want. That was created by two steps. One is to um, shade with ink, light, light ink. After it dries, do an overall flat wash. So you just save that, that margin without touching the contour, you'll get that kind of uh, highlight effect. It's not painted on, it, it's saved uh, the white of the, the paper and then uh, glaze it with a transparent green, uh, which is uh, mixture of these three. Uh -huh. So there's no line, hard line that you're pa painting here with no, the ink? No, just, you just save that water line between the oh, contour and the, the outline and then the, the inside, the base. Um, for the back side, uh, you can see the real flower here, it's lighter, right? Darker. The darker side is a dark green, a transparent green with ink. You can do some shading with uh, uh, more ink on the uh, back side, uh, I mean on the shady side. Um, for the back side, it is done in two steps. One is mineral green and then uh, applied a transparent green, a grass green on top of that, saving a little watermark or waterline. Water line. Um, the woody stem is done with uh, uh, an ink shading with a light amber flat wash, two steps, and then you've got the Mustards with uh, ink and mix, and maybe a little with amber. 
that's how easy it is. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to prepare the, the paints. We're using these chips, um, color chips. We, we, we also sell them uh, in Blue Heron Arts. They are natural colors. It's more uh, rich than the uh, cube color. And it's more natural, just, you know. So uh, the way we do that is you put a little warm water, soak it for like a, um, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, and then you uh, use your fingertip to, to grind it until you reach a uh, even consistency. I think this water maybe a little too more, but it's okay, you can, it, it will sink, so, you know, the color, the mineral color sink to the back. This is also mineral, uh, it's a powder from the seashell, a clam, uh, clam shell. This amber is from uh, soil, red or yellow soil. Okay, yeah. so it's actual. Yeah, it's more, uh, it has glue in it already, so you don't have to add gelatin. Okay. If it's powder, yes. you might have to add gelatin to it. Like I can feel the stick and stickness. Yeah, it. when you yeah. rub it. So maybe I, I don't need to grind every every piece, as long as you got enough. Yeah. Okay. And you use the paper towel before you change. <laughs> In a Mexico. Yeah, the the indigo. So we actually have red, yellow, and blue. Three primaries <laughs> here. Oh, indigo is beautiful. Indigo you cannot get from tube. This rich, rich, um, classical, you know, like a jing color, <laughs> like a you know, uh, like the dye. Okay. On, on, on jing. Oh, on jeans, yeah. Yeah, jeans, yeah. indigo. That, you know, the true indigo is okay. much richer. It than, is, it's, yeah. then you get out of the tube. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the tube is very um, muddy okay. <laughs> already. Okay, compared to this. To this one, yeah, this is so fresh. So my teacher will use this for color. And the white, it should, you could use the titanium uh, white, the Chinese white. Yeah, from uh, uh, tube, yeah. He, he will use this and then tube uh, pink and yeah, for the rouge, that, that's okay. okay. But for this three, it's really basic. Okay. Uh, if you want the charm of the Asia, Asia, you know, Oriental painting, uh, you want to try this three, this indigo gamboge. Gamboge is uh, from a kind of vine sap. Oh. Um, they collect it from uh, with a, a, a bamboo tube, so it, it kind of oh, it drips out it, of and they form like a stick. Okay. So that is kind of like a little chunk. It's not like uh, the other ones. Yeah, I noticed uh, that. Though. Yeah, it, 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 we call it a yellow chunk, a chunk okay. of yellow. Gamboge is a little, it's a kind of uh, Chinese herb medicine, a little. Yeah. I won't say poisoning, but uh, it's cleansing. Okay. Yeah, so you, you just be careful you don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just, uh, um, yeah, you can, I, I guess you, you grind it. It's so rich yellow in nature. You don't get this in the, it's a warm, warm yellow, warmer than lemon. Yeah, okay. pretty. Yeah. You know but you know, you know what? I got some indigo. I think you saw it. You did get some indigo. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> that, that's enough. Uh, let me. I don't. Think, yeah, we can. We can uh, get more. Just use a brush. As long as it melts. Let me clean my hand. We'll be back to continue. Thanks for watching. See you in a moment.